Hey YouTube, it's Richie from Boston. I wanted to go over uh, one of my first aid kits I carry. I've got a couple of them. There's one right here. There's one right here. These are both the same kit, just a different package. Uh, this is made by Amp3, U.S. Nurse Doc. Uh, this is the Amp Amp3 Outfitter 2. It's a really, really good setup. As you can see. As you can see, this is a very extensive kit. Now I know there's a plenty of reviews on this out on uh, out on YouTube, but this is mine, so I don't know what to tell you. Check it out. First thing you'll find in this is Doc really did a good job on this. Got the emergency dental kit. It's got his name right on it. That's where you find this stuff. Phenomenal stuff. The uh, dental kit's got oil of cloves, a tea bag, dental wax, floss, toothpick toothbrush, paste, tweezers, cotton rolls, cotton swabs, buffered saline, uh, temporary dental dam stuff, ibuprofen, dental mirrors, spatula, cotton pellets, and some gloves. It's got a nice little uh, anatomy of the mouth right there, just so you know what you're dealing with. But what I suggest everybody does is at least go out and take a class. There's plenty of classes if you check around on uh, YouTube or Craigslist. You'll find classes for first aid and for first aid dental stuff. This also has a uh, eye wash module in it, which is really nice. Instead of trying to use a visine, you just cover your eye up and squirt away. That's the way to go. And there's also a CPR mask, uh, nitrile gloves, aspirin, glucose, Benadryl, and Pepsid. And the best thing is, is if you can see in this package, everything is pre-packaged. So everything's not just floating around, you know what I mean? Doc goes out of his way. He puts everything in a separate package. This is a nice lock sack. You know, these aren't free. Good shit. I think I paid $2.30 for this and it was sent right away. This sleeve right here, it's all medication. Ibuprofen, acetaminophen, I'm sorry. Ranitidine, which is for acid reflux. Diphyhydramine, which is, you know, sleeping, itching, allergy, like it says. And then meclizine, which is for nausea and shit like that, motion sickness or whatnot. Good to have. Good to have. Everything's, uh, again, the chapstick is in a little baggie. You can't beat that. Everything is in its own little package. Everything's clearly labeled. It's on right in the rain paper. So if it gets wet, it's not trashed. This one's got stingies, pads, burn gel, diamode, which is for diarrhea. Drinking the wrong water, you'll need this. And like I said, everything's packaged up. Little modules he uses. Phenomenal. This is a nice thing, too. This is the second generation. Well, the second generation uh, Amp 2 Outfitter. I've got two of these bad boys. This one's another irrigation module. This one right here is just a couple of... Uh, a little bit of paracord and a couple of Grimlocks, which is nice. It's a way to hook it. I've got a fairly heavy-duty carabiner holding this onto the rack of my Jeep right now, but you don't need to do that. Just, I like to go overboard with shit, you know what I mean? This one's miscellaneous, basically a boo-boo kit. Butterfly, Tegaderm, antibiotic ointment, alcohol pad, skin glue, benzoin, and Steri-Strips. I'll tell you what, a lot of people are like, ah, oh, I just throw a super glue or skin glue into a cut. I don't need to carry Band-Aids. Oh, yeah? Super glue will kick your teeth in it stings so bad so so bad i ripped this knuckle open right here where is it right there see that i had a fellow that had a uh, a knife that he didn't think i could take away from him so i fooled him well when i sliced myself wide open i used super glue and it hurt like you read about it hurt like marriage it was that bad all right, we got this little tool module right here. Doc throws in an LED lamp, which is this little county comm lamp. Throws in a Fresno lens, which is nice for starting fires. Utility scissors, mosquito forceps, pair of tweezers, folding razor knife, splinter out, toenail clippers, safety pins, and sting scraper card. This is a nice, nice little setup. This is all high quality shit too. This is all stuff you buy individually off the internet. This little package right here would probably run you 45, 50 bucks. Dead serious. But if you're on my channel, you probably already knew that. This is the tape module, self-adherent tape, which is new. He added this to the uh, 
generation two. There's some duct tape and there's regular adhesive tape. And he's got them in manageable rolls. Most of the first aid kits have these big ass rolls of tape that you really can't fit in anything. You know what I mean? Sorry about this. I just started making these videos not too long ago. I don't have any of the fancy equipment. So if I'm stuffing a bag back in, this is what you get. Sam Splint. You know what it is. You got to carry one. I usually keep one in the back of any one of my backpacks. And I'm sure you do too. This pouch right here, we've got a right in the rain notebook, a Sharpie, some uh, alcohol pads, evacuation cards in case it gets that bad. And he gives you a dozen empty Ziplocs, two by threes and three by fives. There's also a pencil and uh, I already said right in the rain notebook. So that's good shit. There's also a decent, decent German uh, emergency blanket in here. Um, up to this module right here, we've got, this is all take care of yourself stuff, personal equipment. There's a package of hua field towels in here. Uh, anti Anti-microbe wipes, hand gel sanitizer, gloves, and again, look at that. One, two, three, four, five, there's six separate Ziplocs here, so Doc goes out of his way, man. I've spoken to what I believe is his wife, and she was a really nice lady. I've ordered a couple of IFACs, and I've got two of these. I've got the first generation, and I've got the second generation. It's got a nice little... Uh, nice little place to put your LED so if you've got this hung up at base camp you got your light right here you can see everything nice and neat nice and neat this is the dressing module it's got uh, eight pads of moleskin some zero foam gauze non-adherent pads and four by four gauze pads again everything is wrapped up individual and the thing I love about Doc, the thing I love about buying from him, I'll buy from him all day. He keeps making it, I'll keep buying it. Made in USA. This whole pouch, made in USA. You know what I'm saying? Come on, fellas. Fucking make it in this country. That's why we got to do this shit. That's why we have to get ready for whatever the fuck's coming, because they sold us down the river. Just my opinion. This one right here. This module is the heavy, heavy trauma module. Comes with a SWAT T band, uh, tourniquet. It comes with H and H compressed. It's got a couple of combine pads, a couple of rolls of uh, stretch bandage gauze, a few more combines. Comes with an Israeli bandage and 25 grams of quick clot. The good shit. It's all in one separate module. It goes right here, and it's right next to your musculoskeletal. And lastly in this kit, we got the musculoskeletal module. This is basically you twist it, you bend it, you burn it, you break it. This in conjunction with the SAM splint, this will get you to get a, uh, this will get things set back in place where they belong, or at least till you can find a doctor or somebody else that's got better first aid training than you do. But buying this kit is phenomenal, you know what I mean? Like I said, I've got two of them. I've got this set up right here. This is in the original Amp 3. And then I stuck one in this 511 6x10. Now it's all just jammed in here, but this is a smaller, more compact package. But I still have an Amp 3 outfitter in this package. It's smaller. It's got the 511 slick sticks on it. It'll go right on my Camelback or my Aberla stock, whichever bag I'm using to take off with anyways. But that's it. That's my review. It's phenomenal stuff. I can't say enough about USN Nerd. I can't even say his fucking name right. Let me figure it out. So this is my review of the Amp3 Outfitter. Doc over at Amp3 will hook you up. I think it's 235 plus shipping. But literally, he didn't skimp. He didn't skimp on a single thing in there. I put together my own first aid kit not even half as good as that one and it probably ran me $500 and that was using Amazon so I highly recommend Amp3, the Outfitter, the IFAX, the Burn Modules, what have you. Richie from Boston and I'm out of here. Hitting the woods.